In November 2008, Ciji volunteers went to Haiti to assess that year's hurricane damages. They were received by envoy Qi Wangde of the Embassy of the Republic of China in Haiti. Accompanying Mr. Qi was Zhang Shiqi, Deputy Managing Director of the Overseas Engineering and Construction Company. In the pursuant press conference, ROC's ambassador to Haiti, Xu Mianshen, explained to local media in French how and what kind of relief the Ciji Foundation planned to give to Haitians. Qi, Zhang and Xu's personal and professional connections had helped expedite Ciji's work. Invited by Haitian President René Garcia Prevel at the Presidential Palace, Ciji volunteers shared with the dignitaries about how Ciji began with a coin bank. President Prevel responded by making a symbolic contribution. OECC's Mr. Zhang Shiqi helped organize local volunteers to assist Ciji with the packing and storage of the 3,300 relief packs. There is such morale among my employees. They are so happy to do this for their country and their compatriots. They are working with an efficiency not typical of their daily work performance. I am happy with it. On the day of the aid distribution, Ambassador Xu Mianshen gets a taste of the joy of giving. When I handed the supplies to them, the children's expression and reaction was such I believe our hearts became closer. At the end of January 2009, Envoy Qi Wangde and Ciji's Haiti Disaster Relief Team went to the Jinsi abode in Hualien, Taiwan, to give Master Zhen Yan an in-depth presentation on the aid distribution in Haiti. I didn't know much about Ciji before, so I'm glad to have this opportunity to come back and meet Master Zhen Yan. In April of the same year, the Jinsi Abo welcomed a group of Haitians that helped with Ciji's aid relief earlier in the year. Through a guided tour around Ciji's headquarters, the visitors gained a better understanding of Ciji's origin and its four missions. The day ended with Master Zhen Yin giving her blessings to the foreign guests. Master Zhen Yan has been touring Taiwan to conduct year-end blessing ceremonies, with the most recent ones taking place in Guangdu, Taipei. With the catastrophe in Haiti last week, Ciji's founder reminded everyone that while immediate assistance is critical, preparations must be made for the long-term recovery process. Ciji has already mobilized an emergency ceremony. Master Zhen Yan expresses her gratitude and best wishes, noting Ciji and Haitians formed a friendship on this day last year. Thinking about the pain earthquake victims are currently suffering, the master feels torn. The master urges Ciji volunteers that time is of essence. Everyone should manifest the love and compassion of the Buddha, so more people will be inspired, such as the group of volunteers from Wenhua District. Originally beginning with one team, the area now has four. Volunteers are moved by the poignant topic. They see that compassion and wisdom are necessary during difficult times. Each disaster is a lesson for volunteers to take seriously and remember Master Deng Yin's message that time is short. After the devastating Haitian earthquake, Ciji volunteers around the globe are turning gathered at lunch hour to pray for the victims. Meanwhile, I'm taking this chance to give our love. I'm hoping to help out the staff donate their savings from bamboo coin banks. 
Firstly, preparing supplies for the large-scale aid distribution. That's not known how many of them survived the recent earthquake, but our prayers are... In the Pursuant Press Conference, the foundation planned to give to Haitians. T. Rene Garcia Prevel at the Presidential Palace City Volunteers shared When I handed the supplies to them, the children's express here, the Jing Abo welcomed a group of Haitians that helped with the that while immediate assistance is critical, preparations must be by to help deliver aid. Master Zhen Yin also hoped more people around the world would join the chemo and electrotherapy at the same time, and she gradually started to recover her health. Now Lin Chun Ho encourages the cancer, cancer patient to has suffered hair loss after treatment, Lin Chun Hong Lin Chun Hong discovered a lump in her neck and started her fight. Only with the support of her family, her doctors and Suji volunteers was she able to go on practical support for patients who have lost their hair. She gives to patients, hoping to bring them a little warmth and comfort. To one side or the other to indicate numbers, the 26th commissioner Yang Chou Xing. She doesn't. When I discovered she was willing to use the code translator that we just saw to slowly write, I five volunteers from various countries in Southeast Asia. 195 wary volunteers, many of whom have joined Singapore, Malaysia, Holland, and the U.S. to help these two the hefty bags of flour with a 90-degree bow. The blue and white. 79-year-old solid scholarship recipient Wan Yang Yang, who had through my actions, I can motivate more people to join this event. Fusion in E County, Siji's infectious power of love is already blossoming. Siji volunteers organize their usual year-end blessings in childhood. The amputee says he owes his success to the many kind. And now I can go all day without getting tired. About his arms. Smiling, he says, when the time comes, if I'm not feeling well and take a nap at lunchtime, teaches art, helping other people, starting by learning how to feed him. My where he is today, but. Now, with his loving family by he his side, logistics for the rescue effort, the work continues well.